Okay, next we continue. Okay, we want to know what is we call as a virus, the worm, the Trojan hoses, and the SQL injection attack. Okay, so what is virus? Okay, virus is something we call it as a rock software programs. Okay, so something that you don't want. Okay, so they will attach their self okay, into other software programs or other data files in order to be executed. They want to make sure that you will recognize them as that. Yeah, the uh, this is the file that you have to uh, that you can click. But once you click, you you already spread the virus. All right. So this is what we meant by a virus. Okay, we have uh, many types of virus. Okay. Uh, for example, uh, later uh, I will uh, I will give you the example. Okay, uh, the type of virus. Okay, number two is worm. Okay, what is worm? Okay, worm is the independent program. Okay, independent program means that they just exist. They just enter in your in your network in your network. Uh, in your network layer or in your computer, all right? So they will copy themselves, okay, from one computer to others over a network. Okay, that's why you have worm. Suddenly you have a worm. Okay, so, uh, so this is an example of worm. Okay, so, uh, suddenly you have this uh pop up message. Okay, so they will uh 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 wrote that the system is shutting down. Please save all work in progress and log off. Any unsafe changes will be lost. The shutdown was initiated by anti-authority system. Okay, so this is a worm, a part, an example of worm, right? So worm, uh, something that uh, you, we, because we don't have the anti-worm, okay? So when you have the worm in your computer, so, uh, dalam perut you lah, in your stomach when you have worm lama-lama perut you macam bergeru-geru bunyi tu kan so you have a worm so tak kopita tak adalah macam tu tapi dia akan effect to your computerized system alright and then we have trojan okay trojan horse trojan horse is a software okay software that appears benign but does something others than expected example is use trojan is it dangerous yes okay Dangerous, yes. So this is an example of Trojan. And then we have SQL injection attack. Okay, SQL injection attack. Okay, is the hackers. Okay, will submit the data to web form that exploit the site unprotected software and send the rock SQL query to database. Kalau you tengok dekat sini, KDU. So you provide, you masuk lah user day, you masuk password. Masa tu juga, diorang akan hantar the SQL injection. Okay, SQL injection. The, waktu yang sama. Lepas tu, dia akan check. Is it the correct password? Lepas tu, SQL server will access the true condition. Lepas tu, attacker, dia akan dapat data daripada situ. That's why, that is why we advise you change your password. And the password, you cannot... Uh, uh, we cannot picture it as your as your data. For example, you put the contact number, you put the IC number, your girlfriend's number. No, you cannot put that. Okay, so something that is unique, but you can memorize it. Okay, so this is what we call why well, you need to update your password. Then we have ransom. Where, okay, ransomware. Ransomware is a proliferating on both desktop and mobile device. Tries to extort money from users by taking control of their computers or display annoying pop-up messages. Once you want to uh, close the pop-up message, they will appear uh, again and again and again. Or if you want to type something, they control you about, uh, over the network. Then you cannot do anything. Okay, you cannot do anything. So, they put ransom here. So, example here, we have CryptoLocal. Okay, they will encrypt an infected computer files, forcing users to pay hundreds of dollars to regain access. 
Okay, if you want to access to the file, you have to pay somebody. Okay, how it happened? Okay, from download and effecting, uh, uh, effect, uh, infected attachment, clicking a link inside email, visiting the wrong website. Okay, so this is a spyware. Okay, what is it? Well, what we, what we mean by the spyware? Right. Yeah. Okay, sorry Saya punya laptop hang lah tadi Okay, next uh, Kita tengok dekat spyware So, spyware ni apa dia? Okay, it is a small program Okay, install themselves surreptitiously On computers to monitor user, user web surfing Activity and surf up Activitizing, so they will spy you So, nak tengok, okay, you only suka tengok Apa? Oh, I suka tengok Macam handbag uh, so um, so macam ok dia suka tengok handbag uh, so kita bagi dia uh, semua handbag punya ni kita nak kata macam um, tapi kebanyakan kita punya antivirus that's why you tak boleh beli antivirus you kena beli internet security sebab you dah pakai you dah guna uh, internet kan you online Okay, so you sudah sedia online. So, you dah kena ada internet security. So, when you buy internet security, at the same time, you ada antivirus dan you akan ada anti-spyware dekat situ. Alright, so dah tak ada lah benda-benda ni sepatutnya. Okay, so example spyware ni wujud when you have the key logger, scale record every keystroke, whatever you type by using your uh, keyboard tu, dia akan baca. Okay, and then reset the browser homepage. Redirect search request, you nak pergi Google, dia pergi, uh, you nak pergi Google, dia menjadi Google, okay, and slow the computer performance by taking up the memory, okay, so this is an example of the spyware, okay, uh, so ini adalah yang dulu, dulu kebanyakan ada macam ni, uh, saya tahu kalau saya punya antivirus dah, dah tambah, dah expired semua, uh, akan ada lah benda macam ni, so I have to put the antivirus, so antivirus must be updated and must use the original, okay. You can share the antivirus. Tak ada masalah pun sekarang ni. Banyak benda. Okay, kita boleh guna. So, this is examples of malicious code. Macam worm, uh, contohnya ada the configure, storm, sensor.ftp, default transfer protocol eh. Mydoom.a, sobik, melissa. Okay, dia guna nama dia sendirilah. Virus, kita ada virus I love you. Kita ada virus melissa. Even dulu kita ada virus Y2K. Masa nak year 2000. Uh, saya tak ingat Saya rasa why, Very way to care at, at that time uh, Masa tu Kita tak perlukan Network punya Connection Okay Tak perlu uh, Any computer Yang Masa tu at, uh, Computer tiba-tiba Semua Blackout uh, Blackout Maksud saya Semua terpadam Dalam Tiba-tiba uh, Kalau buat kerja Tiba-tiba dia blackout Okay Terpadam And then not on Balik tak boleh Okay, uh, apa yang difahamkan masa tu adalah If you connect to the network or internet you Of, of, of course, sikit, dia, dia akan serang That virus akan serang Tapi, virus tak serang dekat komputer yang tak ada network pun dia akan serang Okay, pujanya adalah apa? Dalam your computer, you have a file from the internet Maybe you download the image, you download the audio, the music, the video, the game uh, Benda tu Uh, dan benda tu berada dekat komputer you pun dia boleh detect ok, nampak eh, dahsyatnya yang itu uh, tak tak silap I, masa tu berlaku pada year 2000 ok, year 2000 ok, and then selain tu, kadang-kadang kalau you perasan, kita ada, dia bukan virus dia ni macam lebih kepada uh, macam worm atau spyware jugalah uh, from Indonesia, they will ask you Uh, dah solat ke belum Dah solat maghrib Tapi dia macam tepat tau Sebab dia menggunakan kita punya uh, uh, Clock system Dekat computer you So macam tiba je waktu uh, Solat isyak Dia terus baca uh, Dia terus macam Okay dah solat isyak ke belum 
Okay. Kita macam kata, wah bagusnya dia bagi peringatan. Tapi itu adalah word. Berhati-hati. Okay. Alright. Ha, so, masa tu zaman tu semua orang kata, eh bagusnya lah orang yang create ni. Tak eh. Tak bagus pun sebenarnya. Okay. Next, we have hackers and computer crime. So, what he hackers and cracker. Okay. Hacker and cracker is the... It is the same thing. It is the cyber crime. It is a computer crime. So, hacker is individual who intends to gain unauthorized access to a computer system. Cracker used to denote a hacker with criminal intent although in public press. Okay, cuma ada perbezaan dekat sini adalah hacker, they just want to, uh, they just want to, uh, nak masuk je, nak tengok je. Tapi once you dah masuk, katanya dah masuk dalam bank account for that particular organization. Katanya you masuk Facebook punya. Takkan you tak nak hack, takkan you tak nak crack. Crack maksudnya, you ambil data tu, you curi data tu, you ubah data tu dan you destroy data tu. Itu masuk cracker. That's why kita panggil cracker. Dia bukan biskut cracker eh. Itu masuk cracker. Kita crack. Kita kita do some the criminal intent. But if you ask me, is it hacker bersalah? Salah lah, you masuk tanpa uh, dibenarkan. Orang tak bagi you masuk, you nak masuk juga. Salah lah, it is still a crime. Okay, still a crime. If you if you want to be a hacker, if you want to be a cracker, but still it is a crime. Okay, it is a computer crime. So, what are the activities? Ni selalu kita dia orang buat adalah dia buat sistem intrusion, dia kacau, dia sistem damage and cyber vandalism. Okay, cyber vandalism. Okay, other than that, kita ada spoofing. Okay, spoofing, okay, it is a beast representing oneself by using a fake email address or masquerade as someone else. Buat penyamaran, itu adalah spoofing. Okay, so you redirect the web link to address different from intended one. So, the website masquerade as intended destination. Okay, so this is what we call as a spoofing, buat penyamaran. Okay, you tengok kat sini eh. This is attacker. Dia hantar benda tu macam, oh, it is the the real website. Tapi sebenarnya tak. Okay. Okay. The second one is sniffing. Sniffing. Okay, you if drop. Okay, program that monitor information traveling over the network. Try to listen. Okay, try to listen. And enable hacker to steal the proprietary information such as email, company files and so on. Okay, you tengok eh. So, dia akan hantar, uh, victim akan hantar the ID, the password, okay, tapi dia akan, uh, the attacker akan listen dan dia akan attack. Selalu dia dalam organisasi, dia tak attack client computer. Dia attack siapa? Dia attack server. Sebab bila dia attack server, dia akan add, automatically dia akan attack client. You nampak tak? Sebab server yang pegang. Okay, so automatically dia akan attack the client. Macam contoh je lah. Macam dekat rumah you kan, dia tak akan attack you. Sebab dia tak tahu you. Sebab dia akan, kita guna macam kita kena try and error. So, dia akan attack siapa? Maybe dia akan attack TM. Okay. So, benda macam ni lah. Okay, dia akan attack TM. Lepas tu, dia akan cuba untuk do something. Okay. So, this is what we call as sniffing. So, maknanya, hacker ni, dia menggunakan gaya pakai macam ni. So, dia sniff. Dia try to uh, uh, banyak kali. Tapi, dia bukanlah pakai hidung dia. Dia sniff by using the code. Okay, by using the code. And then we have DOS attack. Okay, DOS attack is a flooding server with thousands of false requests to crash the network. Okay, you nampak dekat sini. Dia attacker, dia gunakan banyak zombie. Okay, contohnya awak ni uh, tuan besar lah. Awak guna awak punya semua rakyat jelata ni attack dekat satu-satu server. Okay, ini kita panggil sebagai denial of service attack. Okay, dia hantar false request to crash the network. So, bila banyak sangat request, server kita masih tak boleh tampung. Ini kita panggil sebagai dos attack. Okay, next. Uh, about the DDoS attack. It is a distributed denial of service attack. Okay, sekejap lagi saya sambung untuk DDoS attack pula. 